Good morning, FHS. Hoy es viernes. Emily was unable to be with me today. On today's news, we will be discussing NHS, birthdays, trivia, and much more. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. NHS members, be sure to check our canvas page. Senior Leadership Cabinet election procedures are posted. Remember, you can nominate more than one senior member. Three representatives will be selected only. Frank for DECA. DECA dues are due September 22nd. I believe you do not have to be taking a DECA class in order to be in DECA this year, as long as you have taken principles and marketing. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Graham Bishop. This year will be for sure next level. Now it's time for Sports with Violet. Happy Friday, hot dogs. Thursday night, the boys' soccer team traveled to Eastern High School oh, to face funny. the comments in regular season play. Frankfurt dominated the possession of the ball and dictated the action from opening the kickoff way from an 8-1 win. Goals were scored by Gail Hernandez, Uziel Matias, Christian Mejia, Avi Hernandez, and Yobi Tornado. Rudy Garcia earned a hat trick on the comments, and the Hot Dogs are now 5-2 on the season. The volleyball team traveled to West Lafayette and the defending sectional champions. The girls came out hot, taking game one after a 9-0 service run by Tara Martinez. Westside took games two and three and four. Leading for the team was Tara Martinez with five aces and eight digs. Allison Timmons had nine kills and a block, and Lindsey Gay had 21 assists and four kills. Morgan Adamson had four kills and six digs, and Sydney Whitaker had an ace and three digs. Bella Colby put down two kills before going down with an injury at the opening of the game three. Macy Starrett had a solid offense performance with six kills, and Mercedes Tony scooped up nine digs. Amber Hutchin came in as the middle blocker in a game three and had several touches at the net. Tonight at 7, the boys varsity football team will be facing off against Tri-West. Good luck, everyone. The Lady Golfers took on Hamilton Heights in Crawfordsville at home on Thursday night. Sydney Caesar led the way with the 43, and Emily Shipley followed with the 54. Raylan Mitchell ended with the 57. Congratulations to Vlad Kuris for winning the Defensive Player of the Week. Now, time for a short break with our host, Ivan. There will be toppings on it. Also, I heard after Labor Day, we may start to have options back. Maybe soup and salad is coming back. A special, a special happy birthday goes out to Hannah Regalado, Mary Jean Smith, and Liliana Vasquez, and Mrs. Hickson. Let's go back to with Violet to finish up sports. On a warm but windy Thursday night, the Lady Hot Dogs soccer team played host to Northwestern Tigers. The Tigers took an early 1-0 head lead less than 10 minutes into the game. They added the second goal before the Hot Dogs really managed oh to work the goodness. ball into the Tiger territory. Oh the Lady Hot Dogs didn't give up in the second half, even That's though they were down 5-1. to one. The second goal of the night happened similar to the first, with Liz Sandoval stepping up to take a direct like kick that. and once again finding a way to put it in the back of the net. The final score was 6-2 to two in favor of the Northwesterns. The loss put a step to the Lady Hot Dogs game 5 win streak and put their record at 5-2 on the season. The next game for the Lady Hot Dogs is Tuesday in a Sagamore Conference matchup with Southmont. The JV followed the varsity and played well considering how young and inexperienced the JV team was going against Northwest, Northwestern JV that had, a ro had to rotate a lot of their varsity subs in order to make the JV game happen. The final score on the JV team was 9-2 with most of the Northwestern goals scored by their varsity subs. Good work. That's all for sports. I'll see you Tuesday, hot dogs. On yesterday's trivia, we got many responsive responses. But there was only one person who got it right, Mrs. Graham Bishop. My favorite segment was Where in the World is Ivan? Other responses that we have accepted were DAPO Award, What Are You Doing Over the Weekend, and National Holidays. We will continue the trivia on Tuesday. We would like to wish the very best to Mr. Don DeWeese as he's moving into retirement. I remember him telling his staff and students to do better than yesterday. He is truly inspiration, inspirational and we will miss you. Hot dog one, have fun in South Carolina, and remember, once a hot dog, always a hot dog. Students, don't forget there will be no school on Monday. Enjoy your small break.
was bad.